Hey, get out of the frozen food section. That's what I'm telling you. We ain't buying no frozen food, corn dogs, and we ain't going to the state fair neither. We're going to show you how to make your very own corn dog with a batter that is, mm, you'll be wanting to batter up everything. Deep fried, golden brown, so crispy. Woo, come on, I'm getting the grease hot. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard and yep, corn dogs, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't gotta wait for the state fair to come along. You ain't gotta wait in line. You can make these at home. Stay away from the frozen food section too because these are the best corn dogs you're ever gonna have and they're oh so easy. So let's talk about that corn dog just a minute. Now, some German immigrants claim that they started this deal so many years ago down in Texas, they just didn't have a stick in what they was rolled in a little batter and fried. But then, Seen them at the Minnesota State Fair, I think it was about 1927, what'd they call them? Pronto Pups! Yep, I don't know where... What are they called? Pronto Pups! I don't know where my pups are, they may be taking the day off. This has been Americanized so many times and people have changed the batter recipe, but a true corn dog to me is with a cornmeal base, so you can make them savory, you can make them sweet, ooh, we got all kinds of ideals for you, so let's get started with some corn dog. Now you gotta have a good beef winner. That's what I'm talking about, all beef. Now, I have used all different kinds, and this is the way I check mine, right off the bat. Hey, Big, can you and Duke check these to see if these is actually good hot dogs? Oh, they'll work, folks. They're going to be all right. But make sure, I don't like to get them that are over bun length because, first of all, they're hard to fit in your frying apparatus time you get a stick in them. So I really love to use some of them Eckrich, jalapeno cheese oh they are so good if you can find them but folks this is all the little local grocery store had here today so we're gonna lay us out about six of them because that's about how many me and the big and dude can eat i want you to dry them really really well because that's going to help that batter stick to them and then we're just going to let them set till we get all the rest of it good to go and i done put me some flour and some cornmeal in there so we're going to add some garlic yep you heard me right you got to have a little bit of garlic in there. Now, a lot of people don't, but I like to put some baking powder in mine to sort of make that batter pop there when it goes to frying. So, whoa, there went something, Duke. <laughs> I told y'all the breeze was blowing. There went something else. We're going to use about three tablespoons, but also we're going to use about three tablespoons of brown sugar. Yep, you heard me right. Now, you can use white sugar or brown sugar, but I prefer brown sugar because it sort of gives them a better color too when they come out of there, sort of caramel coated. Dump all that in there, but before we go any further, I think I should tell y'all, the recipe will be listed down there in the little link below, but sometimes folks are getting lost. Just go to the website and it'll be right there. You don't know it? www.kentrollins.com. Click over on the deal says recipes. Jillions of them will pop up. And while we're talking about state fair, whew, we got a lot of other state fair food that might go with this. We got a churro video, mm, mm, mm. oh so good, some Indian tacos. So let's put a little of this in there. What is that? That is what you call Red River Ranch Original Seasoning. It goes in everything, even the bath water around here. Get her all stirred up well. Make sure that brown sugar is incorporated in there well because it will try to clump up on you on occasion. Well, one rooster bullet cackleberry hoon fruit. I need you to put him in there. Mm. And if you got some of them farm fresh eggs, you money ahead right there because them things is what's happening. A little bit of avocado oil, about a tablespoon. You can use vegetable oil, whatever you want. But this stuff is healthy and oh, so good for you. And we're gonna use a cup and three fourths of buttermilk. Yes, we are, if I can find it. There's one. I'd say that was pretty close to a three fourths. But guess what? And bees wasn't working all summer just for nothing. Not to give part of the state fair in the corn dog preparation. So what we gonna do? Yep, you seen it right here, you did. We gonna add some honey in there. Cause Shan likes her sweet, she does. So now let's stir. Make sure all that gets stirred up well. And folks, we may have to add a little more buttermilk to this or a little more cornmeal or flour. Because remember, a lot of mine blowed away. But I'll show you the consistency that we're after here in a minute. Just make sure that you get that egg and everything beat up in there well. Time to bring the dry back over here. 
I like to make me a little old well in there. Mm-hmm. Then I just gonna pour it in there. Yep. Now I just want you to incorporate. Ooh, we're awful close now. But did you think we was gonna go all through an episode and the cowboy wasn't gonna change something up and maybe spice it up a little? I mean, we're talking about spicing up your whole life right here. What do we got? Whew. Fourth of a cup of grated onion and a fourth of a cup of jalapeno. Now, the jalapeno is optional. Yes, it is for you folks that be thinking, telling me, Cowboy Ken, I can't do that, it's too hot. I didn't even take the seeds out of these folks. No, I did not. But you can see in here, Channel Zoom in here, look at that moisture that them onions created. Now, I don't need all that in there. So, bear with me while I go over here to the sink. In it goes. But if you don't want to go that route too, you can always use you some red pepper flakes if you'd like a little heat. But I just like the flavor that this brings. One of my most favorite corn dog stories ever in the whole world is at a Allsup's. When they first seen me, what? One of them jalapeno cheese corn dogs. Three o'clock in the morning, I was coming back from a cooking deal. Had me four of them. They kept me awake rest of the way home. I'll promise you that. It is what I'd call pretty close to that. We may thin it just a little right before Describe we start. Describe that consistency. That consistency is what I'd call, that's gonna stay on one of them hot dogs right there, it will. Mm-hmm. Now, we could roll them around in there, throw them over in a deep fryer, but we'd get that stuff all over our hands, you know? So, let's talk about the stick. You see me have one of these here Willer sticks, which this one was a M, and since I don't went to all the trouble to get it, I'm gonna use it, you can bet yourself for sure. Now I need for Shan to come over here and follow me because folks, this is something you gotta check before you ever get started. Will this fit in your frying apparatus? See, you can see that's pretty close, uh-huh. So we're gonna have to cheat this in a little. And speaking of frying apparatuses, whew, that is a pretty one, there it is. Just got it, I did, mm-hmm, from the Goodfield Company, eight inch Dutch oven, come with a lid. And oh, folks, what is better on some cast iron than deep frying? Now, I be using their skillets all the time, and they be sending this, and I'm thinking, what a perfect vessel to do a corn dog cooking. So, we're gonna make sure that all of them are gonna fit. Now, you can get corn dog sticks at some of them Hobby Lobbies, places like that, but you're gonna have to remember, on your little apparatus you're cooking in, you may have to measure every time and make sure that they're gonna fit. Now, I have even used some of these here. What you know what? That? It is a giant toothpick. Yes, it is. We call it a skewer stick, like if you was going to put some of them shrimp on there. But folks, they don't hold up real well. So I'm going to go back to what I know works, and that is these or an elm stick. But always make sure that it'll fit in your fryer. Well, like I say, we could take them down in there and try to roll them around and get it all over our fingers, but nah. Look at there. I'm talking one of them tea drinking glasses, or you can use a pitcher. You can use a mayonnaise jar. But I don't know if I can get all that in there where the winds. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now then we can fully baptize the corn dogs on a stick because it's a whole lot easier to do this. But I'll show you something. When you just take them out of there like that, you see how sort of uneven all that is and it don't like got some lumps, clumps, bumps, and contusions in it. I want you to put her back in there and just give it a swirling motion as you're coming up and about. And folks, we're gonna take this one directly to the fire. So if Shan wants to follow me over, when you get her out of there, just pull her up, dip her off, set one side of it in there just a minute to let it go ahead and start, and then you can drop the whole thing in there. We're using some good peanut oil today, frying at 350 degrees, and you wanna keep that temperature there. But this is my favorite one, come from the elm tree it did. And it's so easy to maneuver because it's got more body on there. So we're just gonna leave him right there because I don't know can I get more than one in there at a time. We are frying them till they get golden brown. Take about three minutes on to roll them around there. And you will have to roll them around, folks, just a tad. But you want to be gingerly careful with them so they'll make sure that they brown evenly on all four corners and all the way around.
Well, that's a done deal right there. I didn't even have to go to the state fair and stand in line and try to win Shanna a teddy bear by throwing them rocks or whatever they are. Because they, 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 they crooked all up. And even they sights on their BB guns. You be aiming here, you hit way over yonder. Them folks got it figured out, but we got you figured out on some corn dogs. Let me just see what's happening here, Big. Mm. Praise the Lord, pass the biscuits, give me some mustard and a corn dog, cause we fitting to do the corn dog swirl. Yes we are. Dip it, fry it, oh so good. Mm. Makes me feel like a, mm. See that there goodness in there, Duke? Can you see that? Mm-hmm. But looky there, it's a jalapeno, some onion right there. You know, you get them corn dogs, got jalapenos and onions. Oh, I'm so sorry, excuse me. Okay, thank you. And the big is hurt today, so y'all say a prayer for the big. He got a bad leg. And here's the duker. Yep, good help they are. Good dogs and corn dogs. That's what life is about right there. But folks, oh, so easy. Get the kids in there in the kitchen. Get them all ready to go. Change the batter up any way you want. Just remember to swirl it around there so you get a good even coating and lay it gently in that grease when you go to frying. Mm. Ain't nothing better than that, so guess what? I'm going to have me another bite. Well, as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans and all the folks keeping this country safe. All those fighting the COVID and keeping us inoculated like we used to, mm, I mean, we ain't going to be in good shape we are. And what do we do as Americans? We overcome and we will even get better than this. So God bless you each and every one for taking care of us. It is a great deal. Don't forget the recipe down there because you're going to want to make these. And hey, I had not been telling you this in a long time, but I think I need to. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, but ring that bell so you get notified. And I ask you to please share the videos with your friends, with your neighbors, because folks, we just need them to all join together. Everybody just get a corn dog in each hand, and we can sing the corn dog song. Corn dogs make you feel better. Wow! <laughs> so, as they say at the state fair, y'all come back, I'll sell you another corn dog. God bless you each and every one. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you down the corn dog trail. Yeah, it's professional, and these little barbs here help it keep on there from falling off. Are we getting anything in there, Shan? Because I can't see it. I thought that made sense to me.